Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, and this is my kit reveal, the reveal of the refreshed kit, but I'm going to do the layout first because I kind of had to lay it out um, and, and pre-plan it a bit to get the spacing right on a couple things. I'm using this sketch, which is uh, sketch number 82, I think, in um, Scrap the Scrap a Sketch Facebook group. It's one of the weekly sketches and their weekly sketches come out every Friday. And it's a great, um, they're always great sketches, but the community's great too. So you'll, I, I encourage you to check that out. And I'm also doing the Mind the Scrap Summer Challenge and the rules changed yesterday. So I'm working with new rules and I'm gonna try to work through those as best I can. One of the rules for this week is to use a stencil. So I've hauled out all of Lisa's stencils from uh, both um, back the when she was designing for the Flare Hut and also the scrap -a sketch ones. And some of the Flare Hut ones have been brought forward to scrap -a sketch So, I'm using Lisa's sketch and her stencils. And as for the kit supplies I'm using, you all know that this is one of the sticker sheets that I built my kit from. And I just built it at the beginning of July. So uh, very, uh, um, it's relatively new. This is from the June Mind the Scrap kit. And I, there was a six by six paper pad and I've pulled papers that coordinate with these stickers. So I'm gonna probably use these stickers somewhere on the page. First thing I'm gonna do is the stenciling. And I've got with me here, this arrow stencil and the photos are about, um, a uh, company outing uh, with James' company that he took Barrett on, and they went to a racetrack and they got to drive like Corvettes and Lamborghinis and Maseratis and all the fun stuff. So I'm, I'm documenting that. I'm gonna start with, and I have no idea how well these colors coordinate with the papers, I'm assuming that there are both blues and teals, but in any case, and there are, I'm looking at the, at the stripes, I'm gonna kinda do it fairly lightly, cause I'm not trying for these things to be, um, the standout element, they'll just kind of reinforce the idea of speed. And I'm blending one color into the next. Uh, the first two I used were Uncharted Mariner and Peacock Feathers, and this one is Pine Needles. And now I'm gonna use bundled sage and I'm gonna switch brushes for this one. Okay. I suspect I had a little bit heavier hand as I went along there. So let me peel this up and I love it. It's uh, it's perfect. Now, if the, the spacing is right, I'll be shocked. Okay, let me put that aside. I have just this weekend cleaned my area and put some things closer. For example, my uh, oxides are, are closer. So, this is how I laid things out. This is a 12 by 12 area on my mat. So I'm just going to start with the bottom and I'm going to start placing things on here. And I'm going to alternate 
um, glued down with uh, with raised up. And I'm going to put a little foam behind the ones that are raised up. And if you notice in the sketch, there are some little areas of the background that show. Okay, so I'm gonna start working from the other end. This one's gonna go straight down. One of the requirements for or one of the prompts this week at the Mind the Scrap um, I'm gonna do this right here, I think is the, the right placement for that. Anyway, one of the prompts is leaves. And so there are leaves in this green patterned paper. I'm gonna put this on. And the other is the color green, and I can't count double for green leaves, so I'm including green elsewhere. This is a really interesting placement of these. Um, these elements, I'm gonna stick that right there, and, and there's where I'm adding in some teal. Um, and there are some bonus points to be had if you use some Mind the Scrap kits, and as you know, my Scrap Backwards kit has been built from um, old Mind the Scrap kits. And I'm just going to put that there, and I'm going to maybe raise that up with a little bit of foam kind of tucked behind it just to have the tags. Two tags are also a requirement. And this is the little top of the tag that I used. I guess I fussy cut the something off the bottom of it. I'm just gonna put that right there and raise that up a bit. Okay, and then my journaling block, I'm gonna put right there. And I'm gonna put that on a little bit of foam. And I'm hoping that the colors end up. And let's see if there's any kind of sticker or something that could I kind of like this little camera to go right there. And I'm gonna put some foam behind it, of course. You saw that coming, right? Um, our, um, my, I'm in on team four and we came in a close second in last week's challenge, and we're determined to <laughs> we're 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 determined to come in first. <laughs> so isn't everyone? It's uh, it's all about kind of 
given you prompts to uh, get you back scrapping again if you've been in a slump. And for me, it is kind of, look at the spacing on that. And I didn't measure, so you know, you know my track history, my track record with uh, measuring. I don't do it. <laughs> it. It's not, it's not in my DNA. Um, ooh, and that's great. This this blue stripe is laying horizontally, whereas this one is. This bottom one is vertical, so yay. And I'm putting this one behind. And it's so good to have <laughs> a refill back in my tape gun. I hate not using my tape gun. I am absolutely addicted. And no, I didn't finish that roll of double stick tape, but okay. And then this one goes here. I just, um, I got to the end of my credit card statement and I started a new statement and decided I could swing it. <laughs> so, I debated whether or not to um, distress the edges of these, uh, these blocks. And I thought I'd go for a cleaner look. No particular reason. Okay, so that's that. Let me put this background here. Let me see how I plan to lay this out. There's that photo, and then this one will go over that, and then this will kind of slide in there. I want this piece to show. Let me move it up and move that down. And then I'll move this photo there and then kind of sneak that in so that that comes down. That way is a little bit more balanced. And if I remember what I just did, I'm gonna be shocked. Okay, I'm gonna place it up here and try to make sure that it's parallel with the bottoms of those. And what I did to cut those, I took my six by six papers and just, I cut this first block and then kind of used what was left over here and and I just used the scraps from my first cuts in each one. I'm gonna put foam behind here. Well, actually I'm gonna put foam behind the other one. This one will go flat. Okay, let me get this. And okay, let's see. There, before I glue that down, I'm gonna kind of slide that under. I don't like I 
I thought I had it the way I wanted it, but I'm not happy with this. That's going to have to be okay because it's pretty well glued down. And if I have this, one thing that's bothering me is how wide that is. And I, if I do this, then this doesn't really have the same look. How about if I did this and have it scoot up and then do this up a little bit? I like that better. And I want a little bit of this paper to show underneath it over on this side. There we go. Okay, if I had cut things to the uh, proportions that Lisa did, Lisa's sketch had, you know, if I had actually, you know, I don't know, followed the sketch, <laughs> that might be good. Okay, so these are from a, um, uh, also from a Mind the Scrap kit, but they're from an outdoorsy, um, collection by 49 and Market. I'm going to put this up here. And then I've got this little piece right here that says, hello. place it there and let me see if I can get something from here I've got the word this and then this that says love this this love this <laughs> so I thought that might be cute there and I don't know why, but I think I'm gonna use this guy right here. Not that it has anything to do with the story, or the event, or anything about it. Um, let's see, so I have outdoor photos, I have leaves, and the color green. I have green arrows. Uh, two tags and a stencil. And I've used stuff from my June kit, so I get I get that. Um, I'm going to add in these little guys somehow. I have three of them. Uh, blue, green, and yellow, which I thought might work. Um, and what I want to do with these is use some of the skinny foam. That will work, I think. And the idea that I, I have in using these is that, is that they'll look like, um, oh, I don't know. Let's see, I'm gonna use the yellow one up here. And 
it'll look like the it's the idea of of these were framed photo worthy if, if that makes any sense at all like this was a special enough day that you wanted lots of pictures and and they sent me lots of pictures both um James and Barrett sent me photos. So I have those. And then I'll use the blue one over here somewhere. Maybe see that is kind of where or like that. And I could just put a little bit of foam here. It's it's kind of a stretch, but I don't want, I wanted fairly generic embellishments, N nothing particularly themed or, um, you know, just so that the photos and the event would kind of stand out. And no flowers or whatever. Okay, so that's on there. And it's a, to me, despite the pink and the pastelishness, it still looks like, um, it's an appropriate page for dies without sounding too terribly sexist there. It's a, it ends up being kind of masculine-ish. Um, what I'm doing here is there. And I wanna use these two hearts, maybe there. That's as good a place as any. So there's another green piece of something green. Okay, I'm done. Thank you very much for watching the process. Now I'll tell you a little about my kit, what, what's happening with it. And I'm gonna pull the page off here, put it back on the coffee table, and I'll bring up my kit box. Let's see, what kind of view are you getting from it? I will take it off and I'll pull the stuff up. I'll show you that what I did was I consolidated all the scrap, the large scraps in here and the small scraps here and I've kept those in the kit. I have the other um, sticker sheet that I built the kit from, and and the the, uh, the these other two as well. I have these full pattern papers. This is the cover to Spectrum Gardenia, and there are cut aparts here. I haven't cut them apart yet. And there's this from Where To Next, some Spectrum Gardenia pages. Um, gotta use those. This is from an old Mind the Scrap kit prior to June. This is probably from May's or April's. And then similarly, a couple of Vicki Booten sheets I recognize. Some stuff from Happy Days. 
by Coco Vanilla. Uh, Paradise Beach, this is an oldie, an Echo Park collection, and I don't know which side I'm gonna use yet. Uh, this is from uh, Sunkissed by uh, Pretty Little Studio. And this is from a Mind the Scrap Kit. I cut the, the branding strip off of it, so I don't know where it's from, but I, I and I was gonna use it, but I, I didn't. This is a gorgeous piece of paper. It's here, there, and everywhere uh, by Cartabella that is amazing, and I'm, I'm probably hoarding it. This is floral number six from Cartabella, which is this paper. And this was in a, a paper pack that uh, my friend Sharon bought for me from uh, Mind the Scrap. And then this is uh, from Where To Next. And this also was in a paper pack from Sharon. Uh, this is a day in the life that goes with one of those sticker sheets. And you've seen me fussy cut florals. I've probably had five or six sheets of this uh, all together. And this is one from that um, comic strip inspired collection called Super Awesome from a company called, a Japanese company called Asuka Studios. And I absolutely love it, and I'm, I'm just torn over which side to use. So I will. So those are the papers that were in my kit. You've seen those, all of those papers before. And I kept them. As for embellishments, I actually did something I've never done before. There were some embellishments that I just knew I would never use. So I'm recycling those, and I've kept these, which are things that I feel like I will use. So I have those, and I have these. These are from uh, Boho Sunshine, and these I think are from the June kit, so I'm keeping those there. Um, I've also got um, the Where To Next 6x8 that came in one of the kits. Um, I've got this uh, sticker book from Kaisercraft that I added. That was not from a Mind the Scrap kit, but I thought it might go well with things. I have some uh, things from the sticker book and the paper repack from where to next. And there may be one or two sheets from a uh, print shop. I have these uh, cardboard or chipboard frames by uh, Simple Stories. I love those. Uh, this little alpha from Pink Fresh. This Happy Days sticker sheet, which I've really used the heck out of. A couple of uh, sticker sheets, a couple of alphas. Um, so these are all things that have been in the kit. This Maggie Holmes um, puffy stickers. I, I'm having a little trouble. I, I've used the ones that I was comfortable using and I'm having a little trouble. And of course I have these and I'm I'm running out of them. I hate that I'm running. Um, it doesn't look like I'm running out, but I'm running out of some of the letters. And I have this little container of, this is all that's left of the enamel dots that I had a full sheet of from one of the kits. Um, just a lot of this is from Where To Next, but not all of it. So I think that's all the stuff that's kind of coming forward in the kit. And you'll notice some things are missing. And I'm going to show you in a minute where they are. Because in this week in the Mind the Scrap challenge, we get points for, or bonus points, for having, um, 
for using things from previous kits, from the June, July, or August kits. I've kind of taken things out of the my Scrap Backwards kit. They're still part of the Scrap Backwards kit, but I've put all together the June kit things, which includes some Boho Sunshine uh, paper that are scraps, and this is a piece of um, that uh, Our Story Matters, and this is uh, a set of the rub-ons from Spectrum Gardenia that came in one of the kits. So, that's from the June kit, and that's all still part. This all was in my um, Scrap Backwards kit, and I, it still is, but I, I've grouped it all together. And this is stuff that was not in my kit. It's part of the July Mind the Scrap kit. And these are the 49 and Market um, Vintage Artistry Nature Study uh, chipboard words. And that's where I got my title from for today's page. This is um, um, posted stamp washi tape from 49 and Market. And that's from Spectrum Gardenia. Some Doodlebug Jewels. This um, six by six uh, papers, some Prima flowers, and I will have trouble using these. Uh, those may get recycled. Um, the essential film strips, lavender, and I, before uh, the rules came out saying that we were going to get extra points for using kit supplies, I was gonna pull, move those in to my 49 and market uh, supplies and then just consider all film strips of any color to be as part of my kit. But for, uh, for purposes of gaining those extra points, I'm just using the purple ones. And there are these journal bits from the trail mix collection from um, Simple Stories, and this is, uh, these are the decorative brads from Safe Travels. There is a gorgeous stamp here uh, from Crafter's Companion. Some uh, cutouts, and uh, I had ephemera to go with this, and I, I, that was part of my kit, and I didn't use much of it. I find this maybe a little hard to use, but I'm challenge to maybe take start with one of these embellishments and build a page around it. Here's some old um, hippie style letters called groovy thickers. And then these are the papers. This is kind of what I wanted to show you, I guess. There's the standard black, white, and uh, colored cardstock. And these are some, and I've used some of these already, some of the papers already. There's this from Spectrum Gardenia, and I don't know which side I'll use. And I absolutely love this paper. This is Retro Summer, and it's got the popsicles on one side. And this you could build a layout on and, and add some dimensional elements to make it not look as flat. I love that. I'm definitely going to use that soon. And this is also from Retro Summer, and I can see using some, fussy cutting some of these images out onto there. Just love it. And then look how all of that goes with that cardstock. And then this is, um, what is that from? That's from Set Sail by Heidi Swap. I, I kind of like that. Uh, the colors aren't my favorite, but I think I like that side better than this side. And then this is a Maggie Holmes from what collection? Um, I don't see it. Woodland Grove. So kind of a pretty pink polka dot, but I really like the, the ledger paper side, and you all who follow me know why I'm into ledger paper. That was kind of a John thing. So, all of this is now in my Scrap Backwards kit. And 
I expect to have a wonderful time with my kit because I'm going to use it for all, well, certainly for all this week's layouts for the Mind the Scrap Summer Challenge. So I'm gonna bring back my layout. and show you my, the sketch and my finished product. What I may do off camera is take the stencil and do some arrows on this side as well, or I might just leave it blank, or I could do some kind of embellishment there. Is there an embellishment? in that the sticker sheet. How about something that says noteworthy? How about that to kind of balance that? Okay, got it and I'll get it on there. And I'll see you throughout the rest of this week. I'll be posting in uh, Scrap Backwards all the layouts I do because they will all be done with this kit. And there, that kind of balances it. And I like that the arrows are just on the one side. So thank you for watching. Bye.